Hi, welcome back to Palace Palace Perfumes and Padding. Phoebe here, and I'm here to do a get ready with me on my eyes and lips. I have my base all done, so, been... so I'm going to be using this palette, the Bam and the Beautiful, gorgeous, so bold and the beautiful S, which is an American soap opera. It's so me, I love it. Um, it's actually Tracy's palette, it's so her as well, but she lent it to me for the video. And yeah, she also lent me some beautiful brushes that she hasn't used yet by Sigma um, to do the eye look. So we'll get into it. Have a little chit chat. So this is the outer carton. She showed this in another video. Um, but I'll just show you again because it is so gorgeous. And here are the gorgeous colours. There's no mirror in the palette. But um, it's beautiful, very beautiful. The attention to detail is great. We have cut, green screen, autograph, and an autograph, there is an autograph. <laughs> Makeup artist, cliffhanger, and we have someone who's fallen off a cliff. Chick flick red carpet, and there is a red carpet. And then roll credits, and then there's a load of names and, you know, like, roles in the movie. Speaking of movies, we went to see um, the Little Mermaid movie yesterday. It was really good. I'd highly recommend it. Go on to see it if you haven't yet. <laughs> I also got my hair done yesterday if you haven't noticed. I got my blonde done. My highlights. Right, so we go in with the Tapered Blending Sigma brush and we'll use Chick Flick as a transition shade all over the eye, eyes. So we're having gorgeous weather here in Ireland. It's just every day is beautiful. Every day the sun is shining and it's just gorgeous weather lately. Can't fault it. We don't get a lot of good weather in Ireland. So when we do, we like to brag. <laughs> Enjoy it as well. I'm wearing my Zara necklace with the P on it. I got it a few years ago for my birthday. Came like so. It's gorgeous. It's more sort of um, kind of a long chain. But so you can see it, I'll pull it up. So it's just like a P. I'll show you. So it's a P in a little, I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like a slab. Gorgeous, I thought. Beautiful necklace. Came in this bag. Zara. Zara's great. I love the clothes. They're a great brand. Anyway, let's get on with the look. <laughs> Not go too off track. Right, so I'm going to use Cliffhanger for the eyeliner shade. And I'm going to use green screen in the crease. So we're doing a bit of green screen. These are great shadows on first impression. So I'm using the medium angle shading blush, or brush, not blush. Use <laughs> more. Gorgeous color. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm going to use the darkest shade as an eyeliner shade. The Little Mermaid movie was brilliant. Sort of like an homage to the cartoon, but it was different at the same time. You know, the different, some different new songs, and they had you know, some of the originals from the cartoon. Reperformed, of course, by different voice actors and all that, but yeah, I won't give too much away, but it was really good. Brilliant movie. Definitely watch it again. <laughs> right, so I'm going to use autograph on the lid a little bit. 
nice sort of very very creamy shade shimmer gorgeous just use the finger to apply that um and then i'm gonna go in with a little bit in the inner corner and got my necklace keeps falling it's bothering me <laughs> um i'm gonna use chick flick in the inner corner i'll use the I'm using these all the wrong way around, but anyway, the eye shade and brush just to go in a little bit in the inner corner. Probably not it's what its purpose is. It's not what its purpose is, but um, I'm going to use it anyway. <laughs> um, right. So then we go in with. The large shader I'm going to use Makeup Artist up here on the brow bone. Makeup Artist. I'm no makeup artist, but I like playing around with shadows and things. And I love doing my makeup every day, so it's a hobby, but it's not a career. Um. Okay, how are we looking? Good, good, good. So we go in with the pencil. It's called Sigma Pencil Brush for the eyeliner. And of course, I'm using Cliffhanger for that. Okay, doesn't look too bad. For a makeup novice, it's not too bad. So, I got my hair done the other day and um, I got it done nice and bright for the summer months nice to dry hair in the summer and maybe go more towards the darker blonde in winter slightly more towards it not fully but um because I was like to say blonde but um yeah right so hmm let's see do a little bit of cleaning up with the cut shade just blend everything out I'm going to do some mascara real quickly. MAC mascara. So I'm using my Sun Kiss um, eyebrow pencil and honestly it's one of the best eyebrow pencils I've ever used the shade and the texture and everything is just gorgeous and it's like perfect shade for me it's the blonde oh it's the blonde shade it's um no it's still sorry it's the light medium shade and it's just perfect I'm loving it because um it's just the right shade it's hard to find you know when you're blonde a uh, perfect um, eyebrow color or pencil or like kind of a taupey sort of a taupey sort of um brow gel right and a little trick I've learned recently is to go with the mascara on the under lower lash line the under eye and kind of like do this kind of like an eyeliner on your a mascara eyeliner so you're like putting mascara on your lower lashes but you're also at the same time 
sort of um, a little trick I learned. Um, you're also sort of like, you know, kind of doing that, making it more smoky. I've seen them doing it on TV. And I think it's a really good trick. Just makes it that more grungy kind of if you're going for a smoky look. I like to do that. Makes it more grungy, like I said. And right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that liner on the top. So it matches. Lovely palette that is that. Um, and the beautiful it's number episode one so it's it's got the blonde lady on the front it's, as opposed to the brunette lady and the guy so she's kind of like Brooke from the bold and the beautiful I'm guessing that's Ridge <laughs> right so I'm with my lip look I'm either going to use sore lip liner or a beauty veil lip liner so I'm going to swatch them and see which one would look best so I've been using this um, Q10 anti wrinkle cream as well by Nivea and I'm loving it I don't have wrinkles because I'm only 30 but it's sort of like a really good cream for prevention in the future you know we all will eventually get to the point no one says young forever. So um, I've been using that now and then under my makeup and in my skincare regime and it's really good. So I'm going to use, um, so there's the swatches of the two liners. I think I'm going to go in with Swords slightly darker. I've been loving a bold lip liner lately. Who doesn't love bold lips? Outline the beautiful lip. <laughs> beautiful lip. Outline the lip. Outline the pout. And I'm going to do something really scary. I'm going to go in with the XXL Sexy Mother Pucker Pillow Plump. I use the um, XL Pillow Plump. And for the first time, I'm going to use the XXL or Triple XL, uh, which is an extreme plumper. And we'll see how that turns out. So I chose it because it's kind of basically the same shade as my Velvet Teddy lip, lip um, stick, which I'm going to use today. I love Velvet Teddy in the summer. One of my favourite MAC lipsticks. Beautiful. Just a plain nude really, a light nude. And we're just going to use a tiny little bit of the XXL Pillow Plump because I'm kind of scared. <laughs> it is an extreme sort of um, plumper. And that's the look. These are really good brushes. They were on a little bit of on sale, but they weren't like really on sale, if you know what I mean. Like they were still quite, you know, they're good quality brushes, so they're not like cheap. But um, the, we got a slight discount on them, and yeah, um, they're really top notch brushes. My necklace. Oh. You're probably thinking, how does that keep happening? <laughs> Strange that it keeps disappearing on me. Um, it's just a long sort of pendant. That's why it does that. But um, yeah. Um, so that's that. Hope you're all enjoying your early summer. Um, it's the start of a new month. So yeah. Positive vibes all around and my um, t-shirt today says 
Hey, it's okay, which is a nod to mental health, which is a you know a good thing to keep on check with and um, check in with your friends and all that jazz. So yeah, I'm very much a mental health advocate. So I love my t-shirt. <laughs> And it also has lovely sequins and flowers, little smiley face flowers, saying, hey, it's okay. So I just love that t-shirt. And it's pink, so what's not to love? So thank you so much for watching. And please comment below your thoughts on the video and the look I created and what you thought of the beautiful bam and the beautiful palette. What you thought of these gorgeous applying brushes to apply the palette with or the shadows. And yeah, let me know what you thought of the Zara necklace too. I'll be more than happy to interact in the comments. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.